Well, hey there, team. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to our Kerbal Space Run run or space program run, whatever you want to call it. We're on the Seeker 2B Boosted, where, which is a delivery system for our R10 performance uh, test. We're going to go straight out and launch this new series. I finished constructing it on the tail end of the last episode, and we'll see what sort of boost we go with, uh, with essentially triple the impulse at launch, which is where we would need it, especially at that sort of beginning. You know what I mean? Anyway, I guess here we go testing. Okay, so let's, uh, okay. Let's, uh, we don't want to revert the flight. Can I, can I just recover a vessel? Recover vessel. Okay, that was, very bad, and I think I had my decouple staging in the exact same time as the rocketry. Let's double check. Holy, holy hell. We nearly had, a, like, a death on the launch pad. There it is there. That's exactly what it is there. I've, sh I've screwed up my staging. That was lucky. Okay, cool. Then couple. Jesus. That could have been bad. Like, it's still the same thing. I've just changed the staging order, so we'll just call it... Um, we, it can stay as Seeker 2B, I suppose. Like it's technically the same sh same vessel. Oh my god, that was that was some dangerous stuff. I can see my staging, so that's good. Okay, that's cool. Here we go. That's a bit better. That doesn't sound good. Where's the explosion? I hear an explosion. Eight thousand, eight and a half thousand, not bad. Keep going. Getting a bit warm there. Thirty-five thousand, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Reckons we're at orbit now. God, I can't see anything. Fifty thousand, there we go. Are we slowing? We are slowing. Huh. What does the map think? Map thinks we'll come back. That's all I'm really worried about. Interesting. Is 
am I able to navigate or anything from this map? I'm not sure. So, we did it, fam. We went very high. Um, now, here's the question. Now we're starting to descend. Oh, I could rig another R10 rocket onto that to deliver us up to that test area. And then activate it. Speed, altitude. I don't, I'm, I'm a bit terrified that we will actually leave orbit if I do that, right? So I have to wonder, how are we going to get a little bit more, a little bit more impulse And at what point do we inject it? The boost stage at the beginning seems solid, seems fine. And that secondary burn seemed fine as well, I suppose. So we've got a two-stage burn, but if I put a third stage into it, we're gonna we're gonna bloody leave the atmosphere, right? I'm pretty I'm almost certain. Right? So what is the gentlest, smallest amount of impulse that I could put onto one of these stages. I could add an extra booster rocket at the beginning, but I really feel like I need to add oomph to the second stage. And how do I do that? I'd have to add boosters or something, right? And that's, that's overkill. Jesus is terrifying being in the dark and not being able to see my little ship. Oh, we're going to see it soon. It's going to get warm. Um. Oh, we're slowing down now. Nice. Um. And because we're using a solid fuel booster, I'm going to still do 3,000 here for the drag shoot. Because that, that is the highest we're ever... This is re-entry at this point. Yeah, we're laughing now. Um. Yeah. And I, I, look, I don't actually want to switch systems. I don't want to switch over to the liquid fuel because it seems like the, these boosters, because I don't know anything about rocketry, I'm learning, but it strikes me that they have their own solid fuel inside, the, and that's it. You can't add a fuel tank to them. That's what the liquid fuel burners are for. I'm pretty certain that's the story. So if I don't want to add a whole bunch of boosters to the second stage which I don't, then I honestly think, I think what's going to have to happen, unless I want to add another stage, which I don't, I don't want to add another stage either. I think what's going to have to happen is I'm just going to have to put even more boosters on the bottom. And we're just going to have to punch even harder straight off the start, like really hard, which is kind of terrifying. But I think, without changing the series too much, and when I say series, I mean series of rocket. That sounds like, at least, you know, let's just follow logic. That sounds like the smartest way to go about it. Right. We need to start kicking goals, man. We're, we're not really gaining money or anything. But again, I'm, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm still learning all this crap. So legit... I'm not 100% certain one more rocket is going to do the job. One more booster. But having said that, I don't want to overdo it. I'd rather waste money. Like, legit, I'd rather waste money than launch another... Another bloody... I don't want to lose another dude. So, I think it's going to be simple as that. It's going to be simple as that. We're going to go... 
hallway symmetry. Thing is, you can't see it. Like, are you attached to it or not? Right, I think that's what's going on there. Looks good. Looks pretty good. <sighs> yeah, I, I think that's all we're going to do. We're just going to put it to the test like that. Um, we're over part allowance again. No, no, we're not. We're overweight. We are overweight. This changes things quite a bit. How much overweight are we? Because we're so close to getting this right. One and a half ton. Pretty much two ton over. How much do all these science items weigh? Point two ton. It's not a lot. It's definitely not a lot. I'm struggling to find places to take weight out of this system. How much does the heat shield weigh? I can't believe I'm asking that bloody question. How much does this girder weigh? 0.1 ton. This is becoming difficult. 0.3. Can I, I can change the amount of solid fuel in it. What's a thrust limiter? I could pro- oh, hang on. If I were to reduce the thrust limiter, hypothetically, are we, are we saying that it's going to burn over a longer period of time at a lower burn? That works for me if that's the case. Alright, we're going to try and reduce fuel in these boosters. Actually, no, we're not. What well, we're going to reduce fuel in that, that one in the center. No, no, no. Wait, no, 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 no. They're all different series. Leave. Let me choose. Can I lower that one and those ones don't lower? Oh, perfect. It it actually does let me lower it. How much fuel can I bring that one down to? Oh, that's. You know what, we'll go to half fuel-ish, like that, and then we'll reduce these blokes a bit. Yeah, because we just need to test that thing at a certain, at a certain point. Okay, cool. Boost, decouple, boost, decouple, cool. Um, we'll just call it a 3B. We had a new booster. That's fine. It's not very complicated. Um, having them burn over a longer time is interesting to me. Thrust limiter. I might actually put it 90-ish, you know? Is that the same for all of you? Not you, though. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. If, if that does what I think it does, that'll be interesting. Okay, cool. Let's, uh, let's launch. Oh, man. Ben, I'm getting into this game. I, of all the games ever, I never thought I would enjoy this. <laughs> all right, here we go. Geez, they all just smashed into each other immediately. I 
don't know if we're gonna make it. I'm legit leaving this stage attached for the moment to weigh us down, to be honest. So, my next thought is to really change the, the burn stage, um, the thrust limit, sorry, is what I'm trying to say with my mouth. I'm a bit hands full at the moment. All right, stuff it, we'll eject. All right. map. All right. Can I warp a bit? Oh, geez, we're coming down already. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm thinking... Yeah, that booster stage at the beginning. Adding boosters is almost negligible. Jeez, we're coming in hot. Um, yeah, so I, I actually can't, well, yeah, no, we need a more sustained burn. That's legitimately what we need, right? So I'm going to radically cut the, that, that, what was it? The thrust, thres, thr thrust threshold. Oh my God. Thrust threshold on those boosters and see what that does for us. I didn't actually realize that you could create like a sustained burn scenario. Um, and that's one way like to like in a way adding a bigger fuel tank, you know, in after a sort of fashion to a system that you can't really add fuel tanks to. Um, I mean, the other thing is we could throw in all together and pivot to the liquid fuel system see what comes of that but uh but straight up i think because you have a look here that's saying 100 right Trust limiter. It's not changing the meters per second readout on that. Trust. Oh, now this is interesting. Burn 27 seconds.
47 seconds. Oh, there we go. We can get more thrust out of that. That's interesting. What's ISP? No, no, no. No, no, no. What's happened here? What is this thing here? I don't know what that is. Can I control Z? Can I undo that? No, I don't know. Why isn't that updating? Reset. What's a trout? I'm going to limit this to 30 and I want to see what happens. Wait, why are you all on different amounts of thrust limit? No, no, that can't be right. Alright, yeah, some reason that's on its own? No. Yeah, I thought something went wrong here. Okay, cool. Hammer. Jeez, what a shot. We're going to do that. We're going to reduce their fuel a little bit because we're overweight. Right. You know what? I might even put a thrust limit on this thing as well. Just burn, burn long, burn far, right? I've adjusted some fuel levels and that, but ultimately this is still the same build, right? Yeah. Like if I named the flight, I'd rename it, but not this. Okay. I didn't reset those. Good. Okay. Bang. Couple. Bang. Couple. Are they in the same stage now? Yeah, that can't be right. That's better. All right. Yeah, all right, here we go. Here we go, longer burn. Yeah, because brute force is only gonna get you so far. In fact, to be honest, we just need enough brute force to keep moving, right? All right, here we go. Look at it, slow and steady, baby. Oh, she is going slow.
I mean, we're getting results. Keep going up, keep going up. Stop fighting me, you stuff it. Let's go. Orbit. Burr. 39,000. 40,000. So close. We're getting better. Are we going to hit it? Are well, we going to hit it at the right speed? Is that what's going on here? Uh, what do you mean 110 to... Oh, you know what? I think I've... I'm in the speed. Hang on. Does that count? That counts. All this time, I assumed it wanted me to get the rocket to that point and fire it at that point. Because that's kind of how the contract reads. But it seems to want to just... Hang on, why are they not ticked? Maybe that's exactly what I need to do. Ah. Uh... Okay. Well, look, I managed to hit the point. I hit it. So hypothetically, all we got to do is attach one of those bloody hammer rockets to my current build and turn it on when we hit that point. Hypothetically. Are we descending now? We are. Cool. So we can tick all those boxes. We're good. We hit the speed. We hit the altitude. Okay, so now all we need to do is attach a rocket. All right? Potentially an extra decoupler. So we just got to make room for two more bits of. Yeah, two more uh, pieces. So that's easy enough. And uh, just make enough weight for it to fire even for a split second, right? So, like, I might even put it as almost empty. That's not a big deal because it'll be at the top of our assembly. So. If anything, that'll help our weight distribution go lower. We might have to take some fuel out of the other things. The boosters. But that won't be a problem at all, I don't think. I mean, if it's such a big problem, we could move one of the boosters into that main assembly. We could go back to triple boost. We could probably get those numbers no sweat. Actually, that might be the least stuff around way to do this. Is to just go back to a triple booster with a second phase and then a third test phase that's pretty much empty anyway. That I'm not even remotely worried about. I think that might. Yeah, that I think we'll do it that way, to be honest. Where are we at? Speed that up. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. 
I don't know. Is this how people play this game? Like, I don't really... I don't do sandbox much. So I don't really understand the fun of just having unlimited funds and sit and just building things out of a million things and throwing them at the wall. Like, to me, this is engineering work, right? This is iterative testing and development. Should be interesting. To, like I said, because I'm batch recording a lot of this stuff, so I don't really have direct feedback as to what people think of this. But, um... But yeah, I, I think this is probably the clinical way to go about it. We've looked at the books. We're fairly balanced. That's a t almost 10 minute flight time as well. So we could send a probe. It said that that had a 10 minute battery. Hmm. All right, so we're recovered. We've only really dropped about 16,000 through these tests. So it's not so bad. All right, so yeah, next one, I think what I'm going to do is move one of the quad boosters up and make a third stage, but it's going to be a pathetic testing stage. Just enough to press the button and off we go and, and then tick the box and then we can move on from this bloody contract. But I, I have enjoyed the the having to build a solution to solve the problem it's been a lot of fun especially since like i don't know anything about orbits or spaceflight or anything all right team we might just leave it there for the time being and i'll catch you on the next one